Hey folks, I'm David Tao with Barbend.com, and today we're talking about one of the most accomplished weightlifters in US history with a resume that is longer than your average CVS receipt, and that is CJ Cummings of South Carolina. Oh, and guess what? He's only 21 years old, and he has a legitimate shot to medal at the Tokyo Olympics. We'll get into that more in just a second, but first, to stay up to date on all things weightlifting at the Tokyo Olympics, Make sure to tune into Barbend, visit barbend.com, follow us on social, or Google Barbend plus whatever body weight category you're looking at, and we will have recaps of all of those events at the Tokyo Olympics shortly after they conclude. CJ has been that lifter to watch, that young up and coming lifter to watch for about six or seven years in American weightlifting, and he's met or exceeded expectations at pretty much every step along the way. It's really impossible to convey just how accomplished he is at such a young age, and it's also difficult to encapsulate how impactful he's been for weightlifting in the United States and the sport's potential growth. Here he is, someone actually going out and winning world championships. Again, two youth world championships and four consecutive junior world championships. Let's talk about CJ's senior American records, which are his competition personal bests. He's snatched 155 kilograms, he's clean and jerked 193 kilograms, and he's totaled 347 kilograms. Now we've actually seen CJ go heavier than some of these numbers in training, especially on the clean and jerk, but again, those are his current competition PRs. According to the International Weightlifting Federation rankings heading into Tokyo, CJ Cummings sits in third overall internationally in the men's 73 kilogram category. But that actually places him in second behind the men actually competing in Tokyo. Again, just because you're a highly ranked lifter in the IWF standings does not mean you're necessarily competing in Tokyo because you actually have to qualify via your home nation, different Olympic quotas, etc. mean that there are some athletes who may be very highly ranked in the IWF top 10 for their body weight category. We won't see them on stage in Tokyo. Kind of a bummer, it is what it is. So CJ is ranked third overall by the IWF in this body weight category. But of the men competing in Tokyo, he's ranked second, and there's a big old elephant in the room here. And that elephant in the room is Shi Ziyang of China, the defending Olympic champion, multi-time world champion, world record holder. CJ is not a lock for the gold, and in fact, it's impossible to say he's a favorite for the gold. That has to be Shi. But Cummings' current competition best lifts are less than what he's proven he can do in training. So if he's able to put two and two together and put together his best ever day, and based on the roster in the 73 kilogram class heading into Tokyo, CJ has a strong chance of bringing a medal back home to the United States. It's gonna be an absolute treat to see CJ Cummings lift in Tokyo. And this body weight category is one of the most hotly anticipated and potentially most exciting on the men's side of the competition. We'll be tuning in, and I hope you will be too. For full coverage of everything Olympics, including a session-by-session -session recap and breakdown that includes the 73 kilogram bodyweight category, make sure to tune in to barbend.com. I'm David Tao.